receive an award, especially international award, you are empowered, you are energized to do more. I work hard for this to happen. Like I try the impossible thing. I overcome many obstacles. So I feel like even myself, I guess like I feel now I'm more confident. I, I was very excited that, uh, that I would be coming to, get, uh, to meet people and I felt very honored that I would be receiving this award. Uh, it, it was, it's, beyond, it's beyond my dreams. I'm Mojisola Usikalu and I'm health and radiation physicist. My dream is to have a world-class lab for people in my country and outside my country, maybe in Africa, to come and do their research. To become a scientist in a developing country, a woman must be creative and committed my this uh, research uh, area um, uh, method it was um, quite new in Vietnam. Therefore, I had to work with a professor in Europe, um, many um, via mail. My field of research is mainly in atmospheric physics. Um, I, I, I have done my PhD research was on the effect of dust aerosols on uh, the scattering of radiation. I have six children, four boys and two girls, a first degree in physics, two master of science degrees and a PhD. Lack of fund, standard equipment made my research difficult at the onset and I had to improvise. My research focused on the physics of the lower atmosphere. I used their model to uh, simulate the weather and the climate of West Africa. I brought up in a culture where women are not allowed of doing things that men can do. I could not fit in that type of culture, so I started thinking about universe and how things start and how to understand the structure of that community. And for me to do that, I choose to study physics. And from what I learned now I'm trying to do in Sudan, to use material science in water treatment, which is a very important issue. So. Uh, this kind of recognition is invaluable. It, it, it affirms their, what they have done. It affirms that they are uh, that they are contributing. It gives them an opportunity to reach out and touch the larger global science community. island of knowledge where we meet with people we share ideas and then we'll be able to have way to do some things in a better format. <laughs>